hello guys Evans here one more time and um, in this video I'll continue to look at the February March 2017 IT um, paper 2 and last video we've been looking at the video and audio editing so in this video we start to look at the spreadsheet section so the last fundraising event was an auction run by three different charities data was collected about this auction and stored in a number of spreadsheet files all documents must fit on a single page portrait wide when printed on A4 paper with text at least four points high. So display all currency values in dollars with two decimal places. And all documents must be of a professional standard and produced using the most efficient method. Okay. All right. So step number 14, using suitable software, um, spreadsheet software, open and examine the data in the files. So we're going to examine this auction um, CSV, beta CSV, and charity CSV. Okay. So go to work files, and these are the three CSV files. So right click and open them. Okay. And basically, we are just looking out for the how the data is arranged in these files. Um, so this is the beta file. Um, this is the auction file. Notice that the data is equally vertical. And the last one is the charity file and the data is also vertical because you have got three rows and two columns, okay? So um, notice also the field names that are there uh, where you can do some comparisons. For example, here you have the charity codes, as you, as you can see, and notice that also you will have um, charity codes, um, TC, THT, and AA uh, right there, okay? So this file is charity, and um, these are the charity codes and these are the charity names okay so next um after you examine the files in the most appropriate um, um, uh, uh, in the most appropriate file create a footer containing the auction item winners last edited by okay so that probably gives you an idea of what kind of file you are looking at so this has to do with auction so you have a bidders file you have a charity file and you have an auction file so definitely you are working with this file okay so i hope guys this is clear on how you can identify which file you're supposed to um to work on um so the file name will give you an idea and in here we're going to insert a footer so then go to footer okay and in the footer we're going to insert um that it did buy and then um, we're supposed to add our name, center number, and candidate number. So Chikasa Evans ZM556 and 0001. Okay. That is done. Um, step number 15 insert a new column after the charity column. In cell C3, use a function to look up the charity name. Okay. So let's just do this one as um, um, a step we're going to do so put this in green and we'll do this one also in let's say yellow and then insert an appropriate label in c2 and we'll do this one let's say in pink okay so we have three steps that actually we're going to do on this question so the first one we insert a row after the charity column and the second one we're going to uh, use a function to look up the charity name and then um, the last one we're going to insert an appropriate label for the new column that would have insert. Okay. So go ahead and open this one and go right at the stop uh, the start of the file. Right after this one, uh, after charity column, which is in B, um, this one, you are going to click there and insert a new column. And the new column is going to come directly after um, this one and it will be in between the cost of win, beat, and charity. Okay, so then the, um, we are done with this part. We've inserted a new column. Now we need to insert, um, um, to use a, a function in cell C3 to look up the charity name. Okay, so the charity names are actually existing in here. We have the charity codes and we have the charity names there. So we need to use a lookup value to compare the code where there's a match on the charity codes, then we retrieve the corresponding charity name. So if you come here, you notice that this one is a charity code. So where there is AA, we should look up in this table and retrieve, uh, uh, compare AA with that AA in the other table and retrieve age assistant. So um, we're going to do just that. So here you're going to start equal to VLOOKUP. 
and you're going to use um, B2 as your lookup value, comma, and then you're going to go to this file and select from A1 to this one as your table array, and then put um, comma, and you're going to use, and um, the column index will be the column number of what must be retained. So what should be retained is column B, and this is column number two, okay? Because that's where the names of the charities are. And then um, the last one is false, which is for an exact match. And hit enter key, and you should see um, the names retrieved like that, age assistant, okay? So this one is done. The last one is insert an appropriate label in C2. So this means um, we need to give the name or the title to this column or column heading. So the column heading uh, for this one is supposed to be um, charity name, okay? Because this is the charity, charity description or charity name. Charity name is better, okay? Charity name. Um, so the next thing that we are going to do, so done with step number 15, and um, there you go with your eight marks. Guys, you can make a whole lot of uh, uh, marks from, from this paper just from selling steps and just knowing what you're supposed to do on each of these steps. Um, it, it, it can be very interesting for you to do that. Okay, so the next one is insert a formula in cell F3. That uses the, um, so the cell reference is F3. And um, this one is going to use um, the most appropriate file to look up the file name Okay, to look up the name of the auction. So name of the auction and display it in the format. Rather, to look up the name of the auction winner. Uh -huh. So it's a, it's a person actually. So we are looking up for the name of the person who has won the auction. And um, this is the format we're supposed to display it. Surname, then followed by dot, um, first name or forename. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. So the... Um, we're going to use, um, we are still looking up, so we're going to use the um, lookup function to do this, okay? So go back to um, the file in question, and now we want to retrieve, in F3, we want to retrieve the name of somebody who's won the auction. Now, um, for us to know this, um, we need um, to check out this other file, which is the bidders file. In the bidders file, every single person is identified uniquely by the bidder number. And this is the number that each person in the um, in the auction is being identified by. So the bidder number is here. So all these guys are being identified by their corresponding bidder number. So this one should tell you definitely that this one becomes the lookup value. So you you type equal to VLOOKUP, and this one becomes the lookup value. And we put comma and we go to this file to pick up now um, this range of sales all the way to the end, okay, like to 41. And these cells now becomes the, um, they become the um, the table array. Uh, you put comma, and now what we want to return from this one, the, according to the format, the first thing we want to return is the surname. So the surname, you will find it in column, um, column number three, which is A, B, C, one, two, three. So it will be in column number three. So we return column, uh, column number three, and return an exact match. Notice if I hit enter key, um, we return um, uh, Wexler or Wexler. Okay, so this is the guy that we return. Now, but the format, um, if you can see from the question, the format is supposed to be surname. We've done this part for um, the surname. So we've done this part, uh, well done, but we haven't finished for the full colon. We haven't yet inserted the full colon uh, and which we'll need to do just that. So the next one, we need, of course, to return the um, the phone name. So this is where, guys, um, it, it leads me to the element or the topic on concatenation, string concatenation, joining two or more strings together. Okay, notice that this one can be returned with a VLOOKUP. Actually, it's just the same formula that we, uh, we had um, earlier on here. We just copy it and paste it uh, within the same uh, block and um, in between the two formulas we're going to make sure that we put a string like that so what i'm talking about here guys notice that the phone name is actually in column b okay so it is row um, rather column uh, index two okay the surname is column index three the um, the phone name is column index two 
So we need to return the name again for column index two. So right at the end of this formula, I'm just going to copy the VLOOKUP, okay? And then I'm going to concatenate the string. So put ampersand to concatenate the string and then put and then um, full colon like that because it's space because you want that full colon to appear, the full colon to appear here. So ampersand will exist between surname and this. So it's supposed to be actually like this uh, when you concatenate the string. Let me just do it. Um, get T here and type it here. Now, it's supposed to be surname like that and then ampersand and then double quote and inside the quote you're supposed to have um, full colon space and then to have the forename. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. But notice that surname is going to come from the VLOOKUP and forename is going to come from the VLOOKUP. But these two, actually here, is supposed to have another ampersand to close it. But these two are the ones that we're using to join the string. What string are we joining? We're joining um, this, we're joining it to this, and this in blue is being joined to ampersand forename. Okay. So that's that's that guys. Okay, so it'll make more sense actually when we um we type it out. So come here and put ampersand again and then paste your formula. But from your formula, we just need to change the column number that needs to be returned. Remember, the phone name is column number two and hit enter key. And notice it returns uh, Wexler um uh trogot. Okay, or trogot. Okay, so that is that is that, and the format is exactly the same as the one in the question paper. Okay, and again, guys, there you go with your another set of eight marks, and these again, guys, I mean these are marks that you guys can aim for um, in the exam, and they will make you get a very good grades at the end of um, this paper. Okay, so step seventeen says replicate the functions entered entered in step uh, in questions fifteen and seventeen for all auction notes so let's go ahead and do just that so we're going just to click there um on this small box double click click there's this small box um double click and that is a uh, replication okay um the next one is supposed to be apply appropriate formatting to the spreadsheet so what is the formatting so the formatting has been found in the question paper so the formatting first of all we are talking about is that it should be on a4 um it should be at least 12 points high it should be portrait and it should be displayed in dollars and it should be two decimal places okay so this last part which says all documents must be of a professional standard and produced using the most efficient methods tells you that you need to look at a document evaluate it look at it critically analyze it is it worth being presented as a document to the professional body uh, so to say um, this means that all professional bodies carry titles or headings um, the title should be formatted as title they should have proper color uh, and stuff like that okay so you make sure that this document is presented like that okay so let's format this document so i'll format this as title okay i'll format it as title merge it um in ICT it looks good to make it like that i've not been told to do that but i can do that um just to make it um uh, proper uh on when it comes to the title and um just increase this maybe like that auction data that looks good and then I'm going to format the rest, uh, the rest of the document in um, 12 points. Okay. Um, the rest of the document is supposed to be formatted 12 points. I'll include the last row. Okay. Um, the last row. Um, and format it as well in 12 points. Okay, that's fine. Um, then we need to format the currency to dollar. Okay, so uh, cost of winning bid, we'll format it as currency and it should be dollar to two decimal places. So go to here, uh, more format and go to currency and dollar to two decimal places. Now, please don't use accounting 
just by clicking here don't use accounting please use um use the um the currency okay so that is that is that i think just looking at this document um right now it seemed to be a little bit professional um but let me just center um some of this text um so that it looks um good um and then center it as well this one okay so i'll center it so it looks good as well yeah that looks good um anything else that we haven't yet done okay single page and then a4 so you can make this uh at the time of printing if you want you can make it to fit on an a4 and it will fit on an f okay so um alternatively you can set it here um page orientation is already portrait page size you can set it to a4 if you want and the information is going to be um to be put there nicely okay well done um next step we are supposed to um uh, we were doing step number um 18 so we can do this so copy it and paste it there uh, i mean not copy highlight it save your spreadsheet as auction one followed by your center number and candidate number this is the evidence so you can save this okay as auction one followed by this and that okay um the other thing that you probably can do when saving this spreadsheet is to make sure that um the text wrap so that it is not broken into two pages like this alternatively what you can do is to go on scale and set the width to fit on one page wide okay and notice that it fits on one page wide like this it compresses everything and make sure that it fits on one page wide you can double click to counter check that the, all the column headings are visible and notice that it fits perfectly fine on one page alternatively what you can do is to um wrap around this text okay so you wrap around this text like cost of bid, uh, bidding and winning bidding and um, winning bid name these are uh, long um headings you can wrap them and they'll continue on the next line so that's that's fine i prefer this method because it's relatively easier easier rather just set the um the width to fit one page wide because this is what we want it should fit on one page um, um on a single page wide okay so that's perfectly fine so the next thing that we are going to do um, is to save it with the new name. So go to file, save us, and then we're going to save this spreadsheet as um, auction, auction one, followed by center number ZM556, followed by candidate number 001. Like that. Okay. All right. So that is that. Is that. Um, we are done with step number 18. And now we are going to start looking at step number 19. Okay, so um, let me see how much time I've used here so that, um, okay, so this should be 18 minutes. I think I'm going to end this video here so that it's not too long. Otherwise it becomes a little bit, um, um, you lose concentration. Okay, so you take a short break and um, we can continue in the next video. All right.